In this video, we're looking at how to trade the US election. Highly contested. We've made 100% profit thus far this year using our simple trend line breakout strategy. You too can make money from home. Here's a disclaimer, it's required by law. Just so you know, we enter all trades with risk, calculated risk. Let's get to it. Okay, guys, I had to do this real quick. Um, we're in the election. Here's, here's, here's my chart. I'm trading the, um, let's just go back to where we are right now. I'm trading the US um, dollar, uh, Swissy, okay? Um, I really don't want to trade during the election. Um, here's the election period. We're on the, we're on the daily chart, okay? Uh, election was today's Friday, so the Friday, uh, Thursday, Wednesday. So this was election day here. Let's just drop down to um, the hourly chart. I'm going to show you how I trade, how how how, how I'm trading this, um, the, the, this this um, this market right now. It's election, yeah. So check this out. Here's obviously a level. Yeah. Bounced off there. Held support there. Support was broken there. Now, normally you get a break and a retest. Right? When a level's broken, you get a break and a retest. If there's no retest, chance are good, price is going to come back. For example, you see here, if you look at that as being a level. Right? Trying to get a live stream. Um, if you look at here as being a level, I'm trying to get this straight. Up. We got it straight. Right? right here was a level, right? Because that was a high. Right, that's obviously a level. Yeah, comes across. Price pushes through. We're on the hourly chart push through, breaks, the level comes back to, and it holds. And what we get is what they call a break check and price continues on. This is tradable, it's called a break check. You can look that up in the market, but that's not our strategy. I'm just letting you know, there's so many strategies out there. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Look at this level here. Oh, come on. Yeah. Right, there's a level, here's the high, right? You can do the level by the wick or you can do the body or somewhere in between but i'm see that i'm sure i'm doing the body. the level got broken broke it didn't come back to it look at it, it tried but it went there All right so so that becomes another level okay now this is meant to be a short video but can, man do we get carried away All right that became another so if you're a person who trades levels well levels get broken all the time right um you know they get made they get broken and how price responds at the level when it breaks it is different each time now if you someone who trades level you, you you're looking for a, a particular setup when it breaks a level okay um but break you're looking for a retest break a check now here it comes so it comes down for the retest at the retest here, you're looking for a signal if it's going to go along. No, it doesn't do it. It breaks through. Okay, so it broke where I gave it to It breaks through. It did nothing here, right? Okay, this is another level. Oh, look, it broke through that level as well. Bloody hell. Where, where, where is this thing going? Well, here's another level, right? So you, you, you see traders, they mark their levels. Here's another. Well, look, it, it broke. Oh, a little bit of a bounce here. Now, the thing is, if you trade these levels and you're looking for your signal, now you... Here you get a bounce, right? You drop to a lower time frame. You might see that there's a clear bounce there. Then you ask yourself, well, how far is it going to go? This went up 10 pips. You're likely if somebody tried to trade that figure. Well, look, up, 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 not away. It, it, it came back through that level. So that's a stop out. And then it found support here. And it would be this level down here. Check that out, guys. Right? No, so I'm going to... Right, so this has now turned out to be a lesson on 
levels. We're looking at how to trade the US election. It's happening right now. Biden takes the lead in Georgia. This is so drawn out, it's ridiculous. It's even given rise to the time that I can even think to do this. But just bear with me here as we do this, because we're going to look at these levels. We're going to look at our known strategy. We're going to see how this lies in between. You can see what strategy we would use in all of this drama. Our strategy was simple. It's not a matter of breaking levels here, there, and everywhere. It's a single line trend line break. There. You put your trend line, it breaks the trend line, you short. It breaks the trend line. What do you do? You fib the leg that breaks the trend line. Of course, here we've dropped to a lower uh, chart, but bloody hell, this is on the, what chart is this? This is on the, um, this is the hourly chart. Okay. So somewhere in here, we're going to drop to the 15 minute chart because that's what we, we trade. And we're probably here. Can you see this little pullback here? That would have caused a fractal on the 15 minute chart. Okay. Great, right? And then here's our target 200 and we're done. That's our trade done, right? So for somebody who's trading levels, they've marked out all their levels here. You've got a trend line break. Now you trade to 11, it broke, smashed through that. It smashed through that. It, a little bounce, broke through that. It found support here. You can tell that after the fact, but the next level was this one, where it held. And then you're looking at, um, for our strategy, it's very simple. Isn't it? Trend line break, right? Fib the leg, and so on and so forth. Right. So here we are. We're 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 trading the. Um, that was a pretty good lesson, there, guys. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, very simple lesson. We're looking at this situation here with what's going on, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly. So here's the the market going. Here was the level broken. It's not come back to it. What we've seen is that. When it breaks these levels, it's going to come back. See how it came back to that one? It came back, right? It came down through this one again, where it smashed through it the last time. It came back to it this time, right? Smashed through this one, right? In all of that mess, it's come back to it. But it really went to that one. But you see these highs are just, right? It's come back to it. The stop above here, 20 pips, right? If you're trading, we, we don't trade levels. I mean, of all this, what what I'd be looking for is, right, it, but, but is it breaking my trend line? No, it hasn't. It's just carried, oh, well, let it do it. My trade's not come yet. Pure and simple. My trade hasn't come yet. All right, so it's gone down, 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 down. Let's just clear off all this beautiful education on levels and how they work and so on and so forth. We remember we're on the hourly chart. You, you have to, when you're... Um, practicing you have to practice chart specific okay because if you're just going to practice on a uh, 15 minute chart you're going to see a different view let's drop to the 15 you're going to see a different view than if you are on the hourly chart do you see this look at that beautiful trend line break right I said there was a fractal somewhere down here that we would have latched onto, but by the looks of it, after the many fractals here, so we would have latched onto one of them bad boys for a shove. Okay, and that just plummeted. There was no pullback, really. That's your pullback. This just, there was no pullback. You know, normally it breaks, you're looking for pullback 50% fib. There just was no pullback. However you slice it, like, there's no pullback. It just went and went and went and went and went. See, it just went and went and went. So if you were to drop to all of that and figure, well, this is a massive move, pullback, there's your pullback. There's your stop loss, 59 pips. So now, well, it's, it got to the 618, didn't it? Look, guys, look. <laughs> this this is just ridiculous. But anyway, we're still trading this. Now, what we're looking for, we don't know what's going to happen. I've told people not to trade this week because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know. I mean, if Trump won, this will just go, you know, boom, all the way up here. Just be ridiculous. Obviously, a Biden victory is that, but it's just a painful win, isn't it? It's so painful. Like, they're just going... Oh, vote by vote. We got to count the votes, the states, the come on. 
So how would we trade it? You're not trading just for the day. So I'm going to give you guys a huge lesson now in trading the electric. I've got it marked out here already. This is 2016 when President Trump became electric. So I noticed I went to the weekly chart. We've gone back in time because you can do that, right? Let's see if we can find it. There we are. So we've gone to 2016. Let's just, oh, this is the daily chart, guys. Okay, daily chart. Let's just open this up a bit because um, here's where the learning takes place, right? So daily chart. And uh, this is the week of November 1st. This candle will tell me that it's the election candle, right? J just by the, uh, we're, we're on the daily daily chart. This thing hasn't moved over yet. We're on the daily chart. Um, now this candle tells me so just by the way it moved and then everything thereafter. Now, what you notice here, and this is why I don't want to trade, um, this um, market right now until there's a clear decision. Because if you look at this, right? Look, just look at it. This is the the, the, the election candle. So the election was obviously on the ninth. The result came out on the ninth. So maybe it was in this day and the result came. Well, look at this. The actual result came on this day, right? If you look at this, this had been, you've got a bullish movement here, right? And you got this wick, so this slow meandering drop down here, however long it took, 200 pip wick. So currently we see that price has fallen, right? It's fallen and fallen and fallen. But, you know, a month, a week, a year from now, that might just turn out to be this wick, because now you go back here. So you could be saying, oh, Biden win is, is going short, it's going short, because that's what it looks like. But this bad boy, just just turned around upon the actual result. So we don't know if that's what's going to happen. Now, this will only let you go. So you know that's the election. Look, it went down, it went up because the results came quick. It won't let you go, see, 2018. It won't let you go to the hourly chart. So just so you know, in terms of your back testing, you're on the clock. This will only let you look back so so far. That's what these platforms do. So we're going back now. This is on the four hour chart. So this is the best insight we can get. It's on the four hour chart. And so we're just going to look and see how we would have traded it. 2000, there we are. Right, there's, we, we've got our levels marked out. Mm, there was a line there somewhere, wasn't there? 2016. There we are, yeah. So you got a little, So in your eyes and my eyes, we're looking at the break of the the uh, yellow one is the fifty MA. The break of the two hundred. We're thinking, okay, fib that bad boy. <laughs> I mean, oh freaking simple. That's what we're thinking as we're watching it now. Now, come on, seriously. If because look at this this white candle. It's a four. This is the four hour chart, guys. So this white candle that took four hours the result came in four hours up right in our case now it's taking days to form these candles so if it's going down in order to go up that could be what's happening now so you're selling it whilst it's going down think oh look it's going down it's a violent statement and all of a sudden the result comes and goes boom it shoots up the other way that's why i'm not trading the election right now it's just a full scale okay I would rather wait till the results come out, then look to see what price action does. Is it meeting the criteria of my strategy? And upon that, I will then trade it. Okay. So I've looked to the past. I've seen what happened. We all know the saying, past events is not indicative of future occurrences, whatever it, whatever it is. But that's, that's what I do. Look to the past, see what, see what happened in the past. And then when I come to the future, I'm like, okay, well, I get it now. I see what's happening. I mean, I've shown you that, that levels have been breaking. So here's a level, right? Hey, this selection, the, the level doesn't mean anything, okay? Levels levels can break. That's a level, where that level come from? That's this little level here, I think. So you better go for the weekly level, really. That's a level. 
it broke through, went back up. Right, there's a level. Now, all, all, all we see here, there's a level. That looks like that break check I was showing you up there, right? Break, check, and then it's going to the next one. So the next one might well be down here, which is this one here. This is just a, you know what I mean? Uh, ICT order block. <laughs> well, that's a down before the up move. But if you go in the four hour, you see some sort of down candle here. But anyway, so the levels, levels aren't holding. So you, I'm not going by any, I'm just not, levels have been breaking. That's what the election does. It'll break through levels. Okay, so I can do it as a break check. Here's an engulfing candle and you put your stop here. Your entry is going to be somewhere here. 150, who wants to do that? 156 percent. doing that. Okay, so that was a quick look, guys, into uh, my view on the election, how I'm going to trade it. I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait. Just patiently wait. I know. I know. I know. I, this is just an unsustainable move. There's been no pullback. I, look, unsustainable move, pullback. Unsustainable move, what are we looking for? Pullback. We're going to trade the pullback. It's really, really, really that simple. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the, this moment I've shared with you. I, I had to do it. And um, I look forward to uh, the next video when we'll discuss uh, the strategy and the aftermath of the election. By the way, this is uh, useful also to do with the euro dollar, uh, the dollar yen, all the dollar pairs because it's the American election. So the dollar is the one that's in play. All right, guys, look forward to talking to you on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all the good stuff. Love you. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.